Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from Free Dreams 106 channel. Today, video about filaments, because in this guide we are going to dive deeper into the five technical materials to try in order to go from beginner slash intermediate to professional in 3D printing. I've selected the five filaments that are a bit special, not the classical ABS and ASA for instance. And in this video, we see their features, benefits, and the best projects to take advantage of these technical materials. So let's cut the chase and get into it. When we start 3D printing, PLA becomes our best friend. It's uh, easy to print uh, and to find online, available in so many colors. In short, it seems like the perfect material. After a while, however, we realized that uh, this plastic has limitations. For example, it doesn't resist heat or UV light well. So we start experimenting with the PETG or TPU if we are curious to try flexible filaments. Maybe we also hear about ABS or ASA, but we are a bit afraid of the fumes that they release into the air. Well, if you have reached this stage of your 3D printing journey, these five technical materials that I'll talk about will be perfect for your next step into this world. Don't be frightened when you hear the word technical. The term simply means materials that are slightly more complicated to print than the classical ones, but that offer significantly better properties. So let's start right away with the first one, the PLA-CF. There is still little talk about this material, but it's actually a very interesting and inexpensive technical material to start testing fiber-enriched plastics. In fact, PLACF is still PLA, to which, however, carbon fibers have been added, as the name suggests. Depending on the manufacturer, the percentage varies and changes the properties of the PLA. Usually, this polymer is slightly stiffer and more temperature-resistant than classic PLA, and its enormous advantage is hiding layer lines very well. So, if you are looking for a technical material that is easy to print, inexpensive, but still offers a very nice finish, this plastic is perfect for you. In addition, this material is available in a wide range of colors that will allow us to make aesthetic prints in the shade we prefer. Keep in mind that you will need a nozzle, a knot and an extruder made of durable material if you plan to print a lot of fiber-filled filaments, such as PLA-CF. I'll leave you the link above to the guide I've made about carbon fiber-loaded filaments in case you are interested in this type of material. Well, now let's get right into the action with a very technical filament. Nylon. Hold on, don't freak out. Yeah, nylon tends to be a bit complex to print, but I want to introduce you to Sunloose Easy PA, which is a nylon formulated to be easier to work with. It's a great way to try this material without going through all the issues that usually arise when it comes to nylon. This plastic offers high strength, good elasticity and decent mechanical properties. In addition, it absorbs moisture less quickly than classical nylon. Simplify the filament handling. Therefore, it's suitable for many uses. For example, mechanical parts that need to be both uh, strong and a little bit flexible, such as gears or mechanical components uh, that are um, subject to cyclic stresses, or even light industrial applications. It's also ideal for functional prototypes that need to resist impacts and abrasion. As you can see on the table, I have all 
filaments from Salu. That is because Salu has recently added a new line of different types of technical materials to the catalog. So I highly recommend you check out their website if you're curious about trying new filaments. I will leave all the links below in the description. Well, now that we have practiced with EasyPA, let's move on to a similar but slightly different and more complicated filaments to handle. For example, PA6CF or GF. This abbreviation means nothing more than nylon 6 filled with carbon fibers or glass fibers. This material combines the high performance of nylon 6 with the fibers just mentioned to improve stiffness and thermal resistance. In addition, the fibers decrease the risk of warping, making it easier to print with this filament. Be sure, however, to dry it before use because it's highly hygroscopic, which means that it absorbs moisture quickly and adding fibers uh, doesn't mitigate this characteristic. And who is uh, PA6 brother? PA12CF. You may wonder what the difference is. Well, these little numbers indicate the type of nylon that we have in front of us. PA12CF is a carbon fiber reinforced nylon 12 that not only gives us high mechanical strength and improved flexibility over PA6, but also an excellent dimension stability, which means that our parts will have more accurate dimensions. In addition to this, this material offers good chemical and wear resistance. These characteristics make it highly valued in industrial and professional applications for functional components such as holders, uh, housings, mechanical parts that need um, stiffness and elasticity. For PA6 and PA12, it's essential to have a, an enclosed chamber because nylon wants to be printed warmly. Be sure, as I mentioned earlier, to remember to dry your filaments before printing, because they absorb moisture quickly. As you can see, they also arrive in this <laughs> cute silver bag that protects them from humidity. We have come to the last material I want to talk about today, which is PC. PC stands for polycarbonate, which is a technical material that offers a very hip high impact and temperature resistance up to 110-130 degrees Celsius. It's a very rigid and hard material with an optimal dimensional stability. It's not available in many colors, usually white and natural transparent, but it's designed more for functional parts than aesthetic, obviously. If you need to print components subject to stresses and temperatures, this is the perfect material for you. Like nylon, polycarbonates need a closed chamber, a nice hot plate of 100-120 degrees, and a nozzle heated up to 280-310 degrees. In contrast, polycarbonate doesn't absorb moisture as fast as nylon. It can be a bit tricky to print, so I recommend that uh, you start with the small parts to find the best settings and then move on to larger parts. So these are the five technical materials that uh, can really level up you, uh, your 3D printing. I've sorted them in order of difficulty, going from the easiest to the most complicated to work with. But obviously there are many other technical materials with different properties that would be really interesting to learn more about. So let me know below in the comments if you're interested in a video about them. Write to me below in the comments if you have already tried one of these filaments. And in the meantime, if you like this video, you might also like these ones.